In this video, we're going to cover logical operators. You know about operators that interact with numbers such as addition or subtraction. Uh, those operators, these are logical operators that operate on true and false values, right? And, or, not, and XOR. So we have the functions in MATLAB that we can use, and then our logical operators can also be used as the individual operators. And returns true only when A and B are true. Or returns true when either A or B is true. Not flips the value, so negates or complements the value of A. And exclusive or returns true only if A is true or B is true but not both. So the precedents for logical operators, items with parentheses are evaluated first, negation is next, and then the or. And if everything is equal, it goes left to right. So we're gonna take a moment and go over some of the basics using these operators in the MATLAB environment. So for a truth table for and, truth table simply represents the potential values for and, so we have true and true, true and false, false and true, false and false. So these are the four potential combinations when we use two values with the and. So what we get is true in the case of true and true, just like the description said, and then false in all the other cases. So we're having true only if both the left and the right hand side values are true. Similarly for the or, we can create a truth table. And what we see is that for the or, we have our operator and when we're true or true, the result is true. True or false, the result is true. False or true, the result is true. But when both sides are false, the result is false. Finally, we can use the not operator. And in the not operator, we can flip the value. So not true will give us false, and not false will give us true. In general, when we spit out the numeric values of true and false, these will have numeric value of zero and a numeric value of one. All right, so if we were to output them to our command window or our screen, when we output true, it's going to have a numeric value of 1 and then false numeric value of 0 on our screen. So that's what we will see rather than the words true and false. We can set up an example question that we want to roll our windows down only when it is not raining. raining and it is not over 100 degrees. So first we need a variable to represent raining. We're going to set it to true to start with. And we're going to need a variable to represent the temperature and logical variables are often named like their questions. So we're actually going to name this is raining and is over 100. Right? So we want to roll our windows down in the case when it is not raining and it is not over 100 degrees. So we have the and. So we have this combination of two 
things that have to be true in order for us to roll our windows down. So we use the AND. We can start our expression, right? Not is raining. So it isn't raining. And it's not over 100. So we want to again say it's not over 100. And if we do these together, we get our statement that we want to roll the windows down when it is not raining and it is not over 100. So we can display our roll windows down. And we get zero, which is false, because what we see up here is that our true value and our false value, right? So not is raining means this gets flipped to false. So we have false and not is over 100. So this gets flipped to true. So false and true. If we go back to our truth table, false and true produces false, which is what we saw when we got output, a zero. So if we go through and change these to false for both of them, and then we execute again, oh, forgot to save, always save, we end up with one, which is true, because if we go through here, our logic not the false value means true, and not the false value is true again. So we end up with true and true. And if we look at our truth table, true and true results in true. So we'll assign true into roll windows down, and then we display true, which will output one, as we said, numeric value of one. So this has been an explanation of the logical operators for programming and specifically an example using MATLAB.